Frames in InDesign are an essential part of a page layout. Aside from holding graphics and text, frames can act as graphic elements. In this video, you will create a frame using the frame tools around the corners and also apply a color fill. You can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial if you want to follow along. Now, to see the different types of shapes you can create, in the tools panel on the left, press and hold down on the rectangle tool. These tools are great for creating unassigned frames or frames that are also graphic design elements, like a color box behind text that improves readability. If you create a frame or later change your mind about how you want to use it. In other words, add text or graphic. You can always add text or graphic to it. Select the rectangle tool and come out into the page. You'll create a frame of the color. You will go behind this text. So starting here, press and drag to create a frame. As with any frame, if you press the shift key while drawing, you constrain the proportions so the width and height are the same. When the frame is roughly this size, release the mouse. Now, if you need to resize the frame to a specific size, with the frame selected in the properties panel to the right, you will see the pro properties for it, including this position relative to the upper left corner of the document. This size and a lot more. To change the width, click the W to select the value in the width field. This way of selecting the value works for almost all of your fields. Change the value to 3.3. Then click the H to select the height value and type in 1.6. Press return or enter to accept the change. Now you add a fill color. Since frames created with these tools have no fill by default. So click the fill color in the properties panel. Make sure you can see the default color swatches by selecting the swatches options. And select the color to apply it. You could then press escape to hide the panel. Notice that the stroke or border has a color and also a stroke weight or size. Frames drawn with the shape tool have a stroke by default. In the properties panel, click the down arrow to remove the stroke making sure the stroke weight is set to zero point. Now, this frame needs to be behind the text. You can arrange content to change its stacking order on the page. With the shape selected, click the Arrange button and the Quick Actions selected of the Properties panel and choose Send Backward. 
The shape is sent behind the next object in the stacking order, which is the text. To move the frame into position, select the selection tool in the tools panel. And drag the frame so it's roughly centered on the text here. Finally, you will round the corners of the shape. With the shape still selected, click the yellow box on the right side here to begin adjusting the corners. Move the pointer over a yellow corner and a tooltip with instructions on the top. Drag the yellow corner to the left to round the corners a little. If you ever need to remove the rounded corners, you can just drag any of these yellow anchors all the way back to the corner. You can also adjust options for the rounded corners. In the properties panel on the right, if you need a corner radius value to be an exact value or consistent across shapes, you can enter a value. Change the corner radius to 0 0.25 inches. All four corners are changing. But you can also click the word corner here to see the corner options dialog box. You can deselect the make all selections the same option to change the corner value independently. We don't need to do that, so click cancel. You can also click the corner shape option and choose one to see the effort effect on the corners. Before you continue, make sure the corners are actually rounded. Then click away from the shape to, to be selected. Now, you know how to create a frame that's useful as a graphic element or one that holds other content. You can use them for different purposes in your own layouts.